What's going on guys, Uzi here, welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, 86 overall upgraded. Jesus, he was obviously a Kanye 84 and he's gone up to an 86. And that's always a nice side to see because this card was already amazing. I never actually did a play review on him because he was before, you know, I would say he was before the time I actually started doing YouTube. But at the same time, I should have done this card. 84 pace, 86 defending, 88 physical, 75 dribbling, and 68 passing. Now, he doesn't look like the greatest passer, and that could be a little bit of an issue. But at the same time, as long as he's got a decent short pass, he should be all right. Six foot one. Now, personally, I try to go six foot two minimum, but it looks like I can drop an inch by a little bit. So it's not going to be that deep, to be fair to you. Six foot one is a decent height. Low high. Now, this is actually the first defender that I've ever seen. That has low high. If you guys know any more, put it, just type it in the comments because I literally have no idea who else is low high, and that could be an issue. Obviously, part partnering him up with someone else. Now he is obviously left-footed. He's got two star skill moves. Not going to do skill moves with my weak, with my uh, centre back anyway. Two star weak foot. Now that is a big issue simply because there's a lot of defenders that do have a two star weak foot that do screw up a lot of passes, and that is something we are going to see today. Now, he is on an anchor chemistry style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 87 acceleration. 90 sprint speed. A super, super fast centre back that will be catching up to a lot of attackers. Now, passing wise, well, we're not even going to get into shooting wise because this guy cannot shoot to save his life. So, passing wise, 44 vision. It looks like he's not going to be able to do those little cheeky over the top free balls from the centre back position. So, that's always the killer. 81 crossing. God knows where he got that from. 75 short passing, 73 long passing. I'll tell you what, the short passing is not terrible. But the long passing, it looks like we're going to have exactly the same problem that we did with Militao. The fact that he's not going to be able to switch a ball from one side to the other. Hopefully he can, but this is what we're here for, to check if he actually can. Now he's got 82 agility, 72 balance, 91 reactions, 68 ball control, 75 dribbling and 91 composure. Now... The bug troll, he looks like he's going to be one of those people that is simply, you're going to tackle with him and you instantly have to pass it away because there is zero chance this guy will be dribbling on a ball. 82 agility, you might think to yourself, it's not bad. But at the end of the day, that 68 bug troll is not going to make him look like 82 agility. Trust me on that. Now, 91 interceptions and 91 reactions are literally perfect for a six foot one player because if the person RBAs towards you, he is going to react fast enough to intercept that ball. And that is so, so good this year, especially. 96 defender when is going to be at the right place at the right time and he is obviously going to be reading runs as well 98 standing tackle means he's going to be putting in a solid tackle and should be getting the ball while getting the play at the same time and you know how much i love that 94 sliding tackle we don't get a lot of occasions that we do obviously get our sliding tackle but at the same time if it comes down to it i'll give it a go 99 jumping for a six foot one player means he's going to be out headering six foot three and below that's pretty decent to be fair to him 81 stamina this especially this year you don't need a lot of center back on a lot of center back a lot of stamina on your center back but there's been a recent patch and i've heard a lot of center backs are losing stamina fairly quickly so that could change now he's got 90 strength which means he's going to be bodying players left right and center and he's got 99 aggression which should help increase his pace when he gets obviously near the ball and it should make him win a lot of 50 50s now today i have linked him up with chris smalling allison and hernandez i've also got the likes of sosoko ikone and neymar in the team it doesn't matter what formation i'll be playing him as long as it's four at the back it should be all cool and it obviously is it's a 4-4-2 but let's get straight into these games so one thing we always do is test out how a center back feels to be fair to him he doesn't feel too bad look at this little switch of play with the left foot it's pretty decent he has obviously, oh, now that right there. Now, that obviously could come down to his interceptions, but his interceptions are too high for that. And do you know what that is? That's his touch. That's his ball control. The fact that the ball got kind of pelted into him and he doesn't really have, I want to say the reaction time because he obviously does, but he hasn't got the touch to just take it down, control it, and, you know, be calm and collected with it. The fact that he's took a big touch there, that could worry me a little bit. We all know he has enough pace to catch up to anyone. Let's all be fair now. And that's a very nice, strong tackle. Just going to shield the ball here. Just calm and compose pretty much. Keep it nice and close to his feet because this guy is obviously on a high press. So you don't want to kind of rush anything. And Haaland does go in for the tackle. And that's exactly what you're going to get from Jesus. Just calm and composed. Now one thing, can he do this switch? 
So we can do that with the left foot. Obviously, we'll be trying it out with the right foot. But that is a big, big thing. Simply because if the guy is pressing you, you're going to need to switch out to switch the play at some point. And I know a lot of people, a lot of center backs nowadays struggle with that. For example, Militao is one of the biggest issues is that I did have with his card. He just couldn't hit the ball properly. Nice. I didn't really have to touch him a lot there, to be fair. I was just switching off and switching on him. But he was going into the, like, the interception kind of position, which is always nice to see, obviously using his defensive awareness to his full ability. Nice, once again. I like how that doesn't go through his legs because I know a lot of centre-backs will just open their legs there and it allow it to go through. I like how his reaction time is, you know, precise where the fact that he can obviously know where the ball's going to go. Nice. I just waited there for the perfect moment. One thing I love about him is how fast he kind of gets out to the person. That's always a nice sight to see if he can get from point A to point B in literally a split second. Oh my god. I don't know what goal I have just scored, but I'm not going to lie. I said, why not? Give it a go. And this is why I love Ikone. Look at this. This is a green finesse from how far away? <laughs> I have no words. Nice. He did recover there. I'm not going to lie. But he allowed, but he's allowing players. I've noticed he's allowing players to go past him way too easily. Like he's getting these animations where he just gets blown by. And I don't like that. I've never actually seen that on any other center back. Nice. Good interception. Once again, as I said, he's from point A to point B in a split second. So you can kind of play a pressing game if you want with him, which is interesting because not a lot of people play that this year. That's a really, really good tackle for an opportunity that I do believe could have been a guaranteed goal if the guy shot it right, obviously. But I like the way he was in the right place at the right time there just to get that little tackle off. Nice. You see that right there? The defensive awareness was unbelievable there. He saw the opponent was trying to make a run in behind and he tracked it. And that's exactly what you want from your centre-backs. A person that can track runs by themselves because... Hey, people complain about a lot of AI defending, but if the AI help you, you won't see anyone complain. Trust me about that. Okay, that's... Oh, Gabriel. We all know Gabriel could have took a touch there. But you're telling me that's a two-star weak foot? No way. Not in a million years. Nice. Exactly why, where I wanted him. Just in front there. That was really good shielding to stop the ball. Now, right foot. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The fact that he's going to be able to do those. And that is so, so bad. That was a good tackle from him. And defensive awareness once again. Tracking, obviously, the run. But at the same time, let's not avoid the pass. That is one thing that is going to screw you. If you try to pass across the pitch with him, <laughs> it's going to give it straight to the, obviously, to the other team. And that could lead into, obviously, you conceding a goal. Nice, that's a really, really good tackle just to completely get the ball and avoid any rebounds, if you know what I mean. Now, one thing I did enjoy there was obviously me uh, switching to him and tracking the run. He didn't really track the run there. He's obviously going to go. Alright, let's not talk about that, alright? Now, one thing obviously I did like about him before that was he tracked the run there and it just allowed me to hold off and then wait for the perfect moment to tackle. Now, that chance there, he didn't really track the run. In a way, you can kind of argue he did because he was obviously still near it, which allows me to obviously switch to him and then just go for an easy tackle, if you want to say. Nice. You see what I mean about him being a little pressing uh, centre-back? The fact that he can get from point A, obviously, to point B, as I said many, plenty of times, is so, so important because you can get these kind of interceptions off. He can just pressure the player into a pretty much a mistake. You see what I mean about the right foot switching? Jesus Christ. Nowhere near the player. Very inaccurate. And there was not much power behind it. And to be fair to you, I didn't want much power behind it because if there was, it would have gone out of play. So it is obviously time to review them. And let me say, this card is very, very nice. But there is some stuff that I would actually question. 
Now, six foot one, he has got reach on him. He has got a really nice interception, but there is obviously, if he had that intro two more, he would be intercepting much more and it wouldn't be bouncing off him so heavily simply because he's going to have that reach and he's going to have that foot to go actually round the ball rather than just hit the toe and just go for a rebound and God knows where that rebound is going to go most of the time to the opponent and you obviously concede off it. So that could be an issue. But there was also one thing that he's got a very... I wouldn't say the thin body, but I wouldn't say it's very bulky like, I don't know, Virgil van Dijk or one of those lot. But I would say it's one of those like one of those situations where you're going to get weird animations. You're going to get animations that don't really make sense. And I, he reminds me a lot like Rio Ferdinand, the 85 baby version. Simply, if a person does a skill in front of him. Yeah, you can obviously go click B and most likely it will be a really, really good tackle. But there's also other situations where he will do these running animations where he kind of goes and tries to grab onto the shirt and just allow someone to walk past him. And that is a big issue that I did have with this card. Now, the low high work rate wasn't an issue at all. He was in the right position at the right time. Noticing that off a, off a corner, he was actually much like he was actually playing outside of the outside of the box. Which I've never actually seen from a centre back. And this is what I mean about low high. I've never seen that before. And it kind of surprised me a little bit. Because he was always the first one back. And that is also nice to see. Two star weak foot. Whatever you do, don't switch a play with that, but with that weaker foot. Trust me on that. Now, pace wise, unbelievably fast. Passing. I didn't really see that bad of a passing. Short passing wise. Long passing. <laughs> we have an issue. Agility. He was very nice on the ball, nice, calm and composed apart from the touch. The touch was an issue, so you have to be careful about that. He's more of a player that would just tackle the ball than instantly pass away. Interception, as I said, really nice, but if he had that inch or two more, he would grab the, grab the ball around and the ball control wouldn't matter that much. Defender awareness was really nice, tracking runs by himself. Being in the right place at the right time was also very nice for a centre-back pretty much. Standing tackle, he does a very nice solid standing tackle. That is one thing I do agree with. The way he just goes and rushes at someone, then you click B with him, you're going to get the ball, I would say, eight times out of ten. The 99 jumping didn't really see it. Like, I didn't really have a corner out of the two games, so that was a bit surprising. But 81 stamina is enough, even after the patch. You just have to be careful when putting, like, overload ball side on or, or uh, what do you call it, team press on. That is the two things they did try to fix. Make your stamina very, very low, obviously. You know, just to, get, just to waste a lot of stamina with using them tactics. And to be fair, that's pretty decent. Strength-wise, unbelievably strong. He probably plays left, right and centre. And what also helps is the 99 aggression makes him win a lot of 50-50s. But I have to give this card a rating out of 10. Now, I don't think this card is top, top tier. But at the same time, I do believe he is a good centre-back. And I, I understand why a lot of people use him. So I am going to give him... I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.